Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to look at Frame Pack, which is the latest shiny kid on the block for generating videos using images and prompts. And we're going to do some demo. All right, stick around. This is going to be fun. Let's get to it. Hey, this is what we're looking at today. Uh, looks like this repository was only created two days ago and it already has more than 3300 stars on github uh, looks like it can be run in a relatively low end by current standards i guess but relatively low end gpus uh, can be run on 6 gb gpu memory and it looks like it support it's supported on nvidia 30 40 and 50 series uh yeah it's it it's it goes through installation process here i'm not gonna go through it because we have an even easier way to install and use this model Yeah, you can you can go through this whole readme and gain more understanding of what it does, how it does, the things it does, <laughs> and and so on. Uh, they also have prompting guidelines here. They are suggesting you to use this to, you know, generate prompts on ChatGPT, which we can we can try to do ourselves. But yeah, get to the installation process now. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, we are going to use an easy way to install and use this model. Uh, download Pinocchio browser. Uh, if you don't know how to do it, uh, I will link a video that explains it. Uh, once you've downloaded the browser, go to Discover tab and search for Frame Pack. Once you see it, click on it and click on Download. And once it's downloaded you'll see a new screen that says install click on it and then yeah once it's installed uh, it will probably start on its own if it doesn't go to the home page to find all the installed models on your pinocchio browser uh, find frame pack and click on it and then you'll be taken to this this uh, web ui it's a really simple ui it's there's not much to do really all you see here is a box to input image a box to input your prompts an output section here and some controls like the ability to you know set the length of the video uh, steps and there, there, there are some things here that they, they, they are saying they do not recommend changing like the steps changing this value is not recommended same with distill cfg scale and yeah but but i think you should be fine changing the total video length and seed uh, for the demo purposes i will use default seed and we will try uh, i think by default it's uh, the total video length is one second or something but but we'll use a five second length so that we can actually see the video vi being generated upload an image here yeah uh, i'll drop my image in this box uh, that's a really simple prompt like And then we'll just we we have five seconds as the total video length here. We'll keep the seed as default, and we'll just click on start generation. And then I will come back once it's done. It will take some time since it's a five second video. All right, it's done. This is the result. You can see uh, it did nail the laughing, laughing hysterically part. I also nailed the clapping, but I am 
kind of I have some reservation about the difference in shade between my between the color of my hand and my neck but I guess I could give it a pass but right, let's try some other images I have an image of a cat and a mouse this one let's give it a prompt like the mouse is eating cheese unaware of the cat behind him the mouse the cat slowly sneaks near to the mouse when the mouse's ears start twitching and the mouse turns to see the cat All right let's give this a try while the full video is being generated i will show you that the video is generated frames at a time which means it has so far generated 1.1 seconds of video it's looking good so far i will come back once it's fully done all right looks like it's done did a good enough job on the first glance but if you look more carefully it didn't really do a very good job the shape of the cheese changes the mouse is not picking anything up but still eating it and then cat is not sneaking in the mouse never turns back having said having said all that the it did generate a pretty good quality video i guess i'm I'm, I'm I'm pretty happy with the result uh not the perfect one but it's like it generated 3.5 seconds the video to, instead of five seconds that I wanted but yeah not bad I say go and check it out play around I know I will this is fun I'll, I'll try generating a few other videos if you found this video helpful please give it a like and subscribe to the channel uh, i'd really appreciate it and i will see you in the next video thank you